Hello everyone, this is our group. I am Sean, this is Kenson, that's Troy, this is Jake, and this is our media pitch. So the genre we chose was hip hop UK rap. And as a group, we thought this would be a good idea because we grew up with this genre and it's relatable as we live in Hackney and which is known for harsh living and activity. Um, this allowed us to click um, easily with the genre. Uh, the grand music, yeah, is known for excess excessive boasting with either money, jewels or weapons. But we're going to be suffering the same time as he wouldn't be floating with jewelry or weapons. He'd be wearing normal clothes. Our art artist name for this SD. We looked at other artist names such as Seabirds, BT and SJ. But we came up with SD as an abbreviation for Storyteller. Uh, Are there any other artists called Storyteller? No. Uh, this is because our artist likes to tell stories about his past and the pain through his music. Uh, we decided to make it an abbreviation as he said urban rap. rap. Rap, rap, rap artist <laughs> and SC fits more to the genre. Uh, it also has multiple uh, meanings as it also stands for striker, which was given through his past of being gang affiliated and going to jail for past UH and Friday. Yeah. Cool. Alright, so the song that we chose is Part of Paper, The Misses. Um, we chose the song because it has a clear narrative. And the lyrics that are involved in the song will enable us to create a nice visual that will be that will be that will allow you to understand it, but also enjoy it. Um, also, the song the the song does have a video, so this will allow us to create our own ideas and be more creative with what we think the video should be about. And also, it's a good it's a song that we chose because it's a metaphor. The whole song is a metaphor. You think that it's about one thing, but it ends up to be another thing. That um, we also added to the video. Um, Are you? Oh, yeah. Um, if you put the link, I'll give you a snippet of the video or the song. <coughs> Are you gonna? <coughs> is your video gonna be about a metaphor or about or about? Are you gonna follow the same? You know how like. You, you work out what the song's about as, as it goes through. Is it is your narrative going to be like that? You work out what it's about, or is it going to yeah. be clear from the outset? You work out what it will be about. So from the so outset, you won't know. No. Am I spoiling the pitch? No. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll, I won't ask you questions then. So you just play a little bit of the song. So as you can see, the lyrics are quite slow, you can hear everything clearly, so it's basically a story already, if you want to say it like that. Mm -hmm. um, the artist that we chose would be Kenson, <coughs> and he's a part of our group. We chose, we chose Kenson to be, our music to be in our music video, because we thought, out of all of us, that he fit the image of what we thought our artist should look like the most. Um, Which is what? To look more urban, more hood, more hood. More hood. But more from the yeah. So um, we chose him. Um, I don't know what to say. Yeah. <coughs> um, our target audience would primarily be males aged thirty to twenty three that grew up in an urban area, as they may find it relatable. Because. Like, that's where our eyes where they came from. Um, but deep from them, those areas usually listen to hip hop, rap. Um, girls might also listen to the song as it's titled The Misses. And like from the title, you'd think they're talking about, um, he's talking about his love or woman or something, or mum. But like, whilst listening to it, you might find out that he isn't talking about that and they might not really so the girls only like love songs no, no I think but 
what you're trying to say is that like in the past few five ten years and the like less feminization of females so maybe a new pair of females would probably want to listen to some more because they wouldn't feel like they, they only need to listen to love songs or romance songs that will feel more even though like they may not be doing what most males do that like, jump on the streets they because some females do so some or a lot of them could actually connect to the song because it's not everyone that you know okay um the style of the artist but um, he's going to be like portrayed as a bad boy to the media so like through social media and stuff he's not going to be like he might not post that often and when he does it's not going to be like mainstream tweets and stuff like that um there's lots of examples in the industry of artists who are like this um, you could choose one artist that you think st is like who would it be <laughs> okay. Um, our artist would usually be seen in like tracksuit and stuff, so that's kind of going to add to the bad boy image, as he isn't going to be a rapper who flaunts or a rapper who like dresses in suits or whatever. He's going to always be seen as a bad boy. So um, one of the ways we're going to use more, more our artists will be using various social media platforms such as YouTube, SoundCloud and promotional form based websites such as Hot Media Hop, who they are mostly working but do sometimes branch into the English industry. And we will, all try to, we, will, we will also try and use word of mouth to get our target audience around, to, to get our rapper into, into the mouth of the target audience. So like just listen to the song, like this video, you might like it, all of this. So yeah, um, and because we, our main um, thing we're going to use to promote our video, and actually put our video on YouTube, because this is the biggest, like, form of, the bi bi biggest way, nearly 95% 9 of English artists used to promote themselves, either it be a video or a song, just like the four paper misses. And um, the video will, be, will also be on Link Up TV, as it is the second biggest, um, UK channel for rap or urban hip hop in London or India. And um, our basic ideas are going to be surrounding um, the section boys, who are a bunch of, not a bunch, who are a few young males who started rapping and who have now been signed and one of the biggest names in the English music industry. And we're going to do a UK rap, we're going to give a UK rap feel and it will be centered around narrative. For example, us battles, we speak it in there nostalgic reminiscent tone about his past life with certain linked in elements of crime and delinquent behaviour and our ideas were that it could be filled in a rundown neglected area of east of south London um, where the less where the areas are less vibrant and more dull, more populated with council houses and abandoned children parks to give us a feeling of struggle, po poverty and pain. So to add or to add to this we were thinking to add various different effects and filters such as the filter in the picture. So yeah, we What filter is that on the picture? Black and grey, I think. Yeah, that's like a black and grey filter. In a in an abandoned area. <laughs> a bunch of poison tracksuits. So we will try to use the black and grey filter throughout the video, which is often used in a rap UK UK rap song that tells the story. Um the yeah, initial idea is we also looked at um quite a few songs to think how we're gonna show the um like the narrative. One of the ideas we looked at was Power's opening sequence where um, you kind of see primary oppositions. So like you might see, like you see um, bullet, bullet and like lipstick. So it kind of shows the life that he's living from both sides. Thank you. Okay. Um. I, I, I still don't really know what your music video is about. I don't know what's. I don't really know what you're doing. Is there. Like, have you got like a narrative or something worked out? Or is it just gonna. Or is it just him like performing it? What's the. Um, it's gonna be a narrative. Um, it's gonna kind of reveal itself as the video goes on. Because you wouldn't. Because um, the song has two meanings to it. We didn't want to spoil. At the end, we want to build the suspense and 
So, what, something like he's getting ready to go and meet the missus or to go and see the missus and he gets all, like, does his clothes and everything and you think that he's getting prepared to go and meet someone but then he's actually going to, like, pick up a weapon from someone, stuff like that, all those lines. Okay. It might be worth thinking about that at the moment. So what you actually want to do for your narrative. I reckon that's the next step because it sounds like you've got the performance sorted out but the narrative stuff, I'm not really sure what you're doing. Any other questions? Go on, Hayden. <laughs> Um, earlier, Jake mentioned props. Uh, I just want to figure out um, what props would you, would you use in order to show the elements of the video. Yeah, I, I, actually kind of linking back to that point as well. So if you are going to use a strap, you obviously can't use a real strap and you obviously can't have a fake strap around Hackney. I don't want anyone to get shot. So if you're doing that, you need to make sure that you're indoors. Uh, yeah, we'll try and make that happen. <laughs> but obviously you need to make it seem as realistic as possible. Yeah, okay. Fine, good. Um